the flag as it relates to drive throughs the carnivalesque, billboards, casinos, and supermarkets. Is nationalism like the genetically modified fast food alternative to patriotism? Patriotism is a non-competitive form of love and commitment to one's country, its members, and the welfare of all. Whereas nationalism coincides with superiority, reduced levels of internationalism, prejudice, and militarism. When reading between the lines and stripes of the flag, you'll often find aggression and social dominance, each color fencing the other in. Cage the flag, fence the land, and border the people. This doesn't just relate to one flag or one nation, but the imperfections of every country. As sign pollution encroaches, Flags get lost amongst billboards in clutters of color. Is the function much different than graffiti? To distinguish zones of ownership and to mark territory? The waving colors of flags flash like casino lights or shine trying to differentiate themselves like neon club lights. A flag detached from a cause, people, or place is just as playful and vivid as arcade games. Full of pizzazz, with minimal rules, in promise of many lives. What is a fast food federation? What is a drive through nation? Is it a hefty order and a simple thank you for your service in return? So great a freedom for so little acknowledgement of its guardians. Does a drive through nation relate to rear view towns? Is it off-the-road attractions every 250 miles or so? Each one boasting its claim as the world's largest, tiniest, longest, highest, or most notable monument or object. Something with all the color and showmanship of a carnival or circus. Is a drive through nation simply drag races, dirt roads, or handmade signs crawling higher in the sky to be more prominent? What is a supermart society? Does it cater to living in bulk and excess? Each aisle its own continent, each brand its own country. Express checkout for the passport stamped rewards card holder with three items or less of uncivil activity, no arrests, and a great credit score to prove their status as quote unquote good citizen. Are the stripes more like barcodes that can be scanned for quick identification and purchase? This item belongs to this brand? This person belongs to this country? Well, what is being purchased? The people? The land? What is a generic relationship to the flag? A collectible item from the gift shop? A magnet to adorn your living space? A lawn ornament? Some treat it like garlic onion, wolfsbane, or sage, to ward off what they believe to be evil around them. In other words, to repel the outgroup members while protecting the inner circle. They're superstitious to invoke powers greater than themselves to back their own biases. The beautiful concept of the flag in misuse. For some, the flag is a diehard symbol of pride, identity, sacrifice, honor, freedom, and united achievement. Most any color can mosaically comprise a flag. Almost any cause can start an alliance, such as binge-watching bureaucracies, movie theater monarchies, a commuter congress, same-day delivery senates, or a rodeo republic. One could let almost any lifestyle or power govern their lives. Flags are just patchworks of color. Banners are just posters. And anthems are just songs until you give them meaning.